time, Jess, I was at the 2017 Innovation Festival where I kind of first interacted with Northumbrian Water. I was on the designing a teenage bedroom of the future part of the festival and that kind of involves looking at different technologies that maybe we thought would be in houses and kind of things that we would use in 2030. So we were talking about things like virtual reality, augmented reality, all the different kind of things that we thought that teenagers would be using at that time, but also we had to think about things like houses probably getting smaller, um, people living in flats, that kind of thing. So it was really fun. I had, like met a lot of really nice people there. I kind of, I was the only one from my school going, so I was like a bit nervous about kind of, oh, I won't know anyone there, but it kind of was really easy to talk to everyone and kind of all the different things that were about, all the different tents and stuff that we could go and look at were quite a good way to kind of meet people and kind of mingle, I guess. From that, I got my Arkwright Engineering Scholarship partnership with Northumbrian Water. So that's been supporting me through my sixth form studies of maths, further maths, physics and politics. So firstly, I've had a week of work experience, which I've been using when I've been kind of talking to universities um, at interviews, kind of talking about experience that I've had in engineering. Um, I also did an EPQ at school about um, renewable energy, which I'm really interested in. And as I was talking to my mentor, who the company assigned me and given support through that project and also data from Northumbrian Water to um, help me with that. It's allowed me to kind of focus my attention on engineering because I started sixth form kind of being unsure whether I wanted to do physics or engineering, knowing that I liked my physics and maths, but kind of not particularly being fully aware of like the applications. Of